Hello, Jimbo here. I decided to kind of just make more tutorial videos on Raphael, mainly because uh, it's, it's an impulse thing I'm doing. So what I'm going to do with this video is kind of go over his stances one by one. And so Raphael, if you really don't know much about him, has three primary stances. Primary. Preparation. Um, Shadow Evade. And Air Here Gambit. And he can easily switch between the three. Shadow Evade always stops. So anytime he's in preparation, he can access these stances, which is holding forward. Doing back goes to Air Gambit, and from Air Gambit you can do six to transition back into preparation. You can do it at varying speeds. Which really makes for some tricky spacing. Or you can do two only in preparation to do Shadow Evade, which there the stance will stop. He has to attack or not attack. Those are his only options. So how does this all tie together? Well, most of the time when Raphael's entering stance around you, it's going to be preparation first. That's just how it is most of the time. So how does, prep, uh, sorry, how does Raphael enter preparation? Through attacking. Uh, these attacks are 6BB, 3B, you hold the button to go into prep, so 4B, 22AB, uh, 66B plus K, 1B, and 44AB. And Soul Charge, this can continue to 6AB, 8AB, and 4AB. But we'll get to that till much, much later. So, preparation. How does this work? Well, on hit, he's going to get combo extensions. So, for example, 3B, he gets prep KKB. On block, however, then Raphael has to do some guessing. So first, let's go over the properties of the moves in preparation. We have prep B right here. You can do B... BB or BBB. BBB is a counter hit combo, well not combo. But BB, and we're having this weird dance going on, uh, BB will always naturally combo, and you can also do BBA and end with a low. That's a specialty move which we'll get also in a minute. Very good move. Um, that's his quickest option from prep. It is I-10. So you have, and it's, but it's also a linear high. I-10 but linear high. So knowing how he enters prep will be very important in how to counter that move effectively. So moving down the list of speed, now you have the A, prep A, is I-14 mid. And from this, you can do AA, which is mid-mid and safe. Or you can do AB, which is mid-high, so you can duck it. But if he gets, like, for example, a counter hit on it, he's getting big damage. Let me demonstrate how much damage he gets on counter hit. 52. And that's not all. He can, like, extend it as much as he wants to if he really wants to go for the kill, as you see. Which that will lead me into the next move, I guess, on the list. Uh, prep CE. This is another I-14 move, and it's plus on block. And also has the range of, a, like, a, you know, a football field, roughly. So that's always nice. Uh, this is pretty much your combo ender hard read button in prep. Uh, very few rats do this because it, it, the resource cost is a lot. And sometimes you really just get nothing off of it and so you wasted a whole bar meter for nothing. Anyway, so that's his CE. Uh, pretty good. Um, to beat the prep A's, you have to GI the second A or duck the A, A, A B. Um, but if you try to GI, AB will clip you. So there is anti to both moves that counters the other. Make sense? Cool. Awesome. So we have Prep K and KK. This is mostly combo filler, um, but it is a immediate high step catch that does a lot of damage. Um, but you're not going to be using as much. It is a reverse mix-up, but both hits are minus 18 on block, which is very unsafe in this game. So uh, take what you can get. Then we have different kind of moves. We got Prep 6B, which is uh, looks like it's 2, 3, 6B. Again, mainly a combo ender or like a long-range way to close distance at this kind of mid-range neutral. And to complement that mid-range neutral, he has Prep 6A, which is this safe advancing horizontal high. 
But prep 6A you see very infrequently. Okay, so that's what moves he can do in preparation. So, what do the other moves do? Let's demonstrate a situation. So I'm going to do, as Raphael, I'm going to do 3B into BB. Yeah, actually, no, scratch that. I'm going to do 4 for AB into BB. Okay, 4 for AB, it's plus 2 on block. So if I try to use my 6B, which is also I-10, I'm going to get counter hit. So like, okay, well, what can I do to fix that? Okay, I can 2A. And now what? What if he, uh... Okay, but this beats me now. So if I had, like, an I-12, like most characters in the game, now I'm in an issue. I'm in a bind, because I can't really get a clear way out. And then, if he's really feeling himself, he can just say, screw it, I know you're going to attack. Fuck you. Sorry, not safe for work, people. Not safe for work. So, there's that. So then, I'm like, okay, well, maybe if I just block and just wait for him to attack, there'll be an unsafe opening that I can capitalize on. Okay, what if the Raphael player knows this? Is going to use that to his advantage? This is where Shadow of Age comes in. So say I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh, ah, crap. So uh, I blocked Shadow of AD, which we'll go over that first. Um, this is plus eight on block and leads to all this on hit. It's a really rewarding move. Uh, you want to land it as much as you can. Also does a lot of guard damage. So you blocking netted you all that. And so you're thinking, well, okay, I'm going to step it. This is where Shadow of 8A comes in. Shadow of 8A is his best horizontal by far. Um, if si back turns on hit, and you're plus 8 as well, so you have a lot of frames to play with. Uh, it's his quickest option by far, safe on block. And on counter hit, so they decide to step Shadow of 8B, you get all of this goodness. That's a uh, fourth life on a horizontal. Mid, just saying. And so then, okay, the person's like, I just, I don't, I'm going to just block forever. Okay, I'm just going to block forever. Even if you just shadow evade B five times, I'm going to block forever. Enter K. This is your mix-up. Knocks down on hit. Unsafe, minus 16, and short-ranged. But when you're in this range and trying to step, also set, kill step as well. That's shadow evade. Uh, he's also in pretty much permanent tech crouch, so do not use highs actively to discourage preparation entries, because this will happen. And this sucks. This really hurts. Look at that. Look at all that damage. Look at that. Amazing. So now, now we have Air, uh, area Gambit. This stance is, um, it's not used often on its own. It's mainly used as a way to get back into preparation from a different preparation combo, which uh, is called eye prep, which we'll get to, to another part. But that's eye prep. But this smooth stance itself has options. Uh, three, to be precise. He has B, which you get these bread and butters on, the same as your 66A plus B bread and butter. But you have to wait the 2A plus B, because if you don't wait, they'll bounce in the air and they can air control the combo. So uh, you gotta, gotta be patient on that. This is also minus two on block. Uh, there's a lot of guard damage and forces crouch to the opponent. So it puts the opponent in a pretty crummy situation on block. So overall, really solid move. He also has A and AB. This is your you know horizontal mid to get out to like contain movement. It's pretty slow and low damage. And also unsafe. <clears throat> AB is unsafe, but if you get the hit, you can get all that, which is solid, um, considering you barely touched them, but unsafe. So don't do AB all the time. If you if they're blocking, opt for A only. They also has K, which is this low, which is um, online jank slash combo filler. Um, it's very reactable, very unsafe, but if you manage to score a hit with it, you get your 2A plus B Oki. Or it's mainly used in this combo to extend for max damage. Um, the B also combos, but you get less damage. Hence, that's why I use the K if you need those last points of damage. So let's tell her what are her stance. That's that's the stance. That's how it works. So wait for part two, where I go into more specifics on what makes these stances great. Thank you for watching part one. Swag.